Hello and welcome everyone to Cyberpunk 2077. We are back. We are out here in the beautiful sunrise. It's 5.55 a.m. and we have to return to Night City after we helped out Pan Am last time. Uh, we have a Delamain mission here, which I want to do first. And then we'll go from there to see how we get into the city. Maybe do uh, some side quests on the way, but we'll see how it goes. Let's get Jackie's bike and get ready. Where is it? There you are. Good little bike. I don't know if it's a good idea to go cross country here, but we'll try it. V, one of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Got it. Oh no, it's a landfall. Oh boy. There's a street somewhere. Yeah. Nope. Oh no. I'm stuck. Okay. Oh. Oh no, we have a relic malfunction again. It seems. Oh, this is an assault in progress. Let's do this, actually, since we're here. Um. Ah, now the other guy is moving away. Oh. No. Got him. What? I can't hear you. What? Oh, you mean him? So we have at least a couple inside. Sure, go ahead, try. And three inside, it seems. Huh? This time, 
Come here. Okay. Handguns. Ooh, another another perk. Merlin Honorati and Logan Smith. Third engine this month. Can't be a fucking coincidence. Where'd you fill up? The fuck's that got to do with that? Just tell me where you stopped for for gas. Oh, can't call the hiccup. That guy by the pump. Check out, check and see if he's not watering down the fuel. Could be it. All right, we're there. Fuck, gang straight admitted it. Ah, we'll hang around, take it out on the unsuspected clientele. First, first good idea you've had. Hey, you doing all right, bud? Oh, there's one up there. Let's go up there. Ooh, okay, or not. How far am I away? Kind of want to get my bike though, because I don't know if I have to chase the Delamain. Oh, Judy. Uh, buried after day. Clumbaron near North Oak. Thought you might want to know. Thanks for letting me know. Right, no problem. Take care. Anything else? And we can visit the grave. Up, oh, Judius. Doing okay, all things considered. How do you? Gotta find a way to get there. Uh, what's the map saying? Oh, all the way around. I see you are. Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters privately. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Okay. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. All right. So they, will, they have another job for us. Now we're in the thick of the whole political political game all of a sudden. I guess that serves us right for getting involved. Whoop. Whoa. Sure, if I can trust this domain. Probably not. Hello, V. Uh, how'd you know my name? I know my name. How? 
When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? You didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. Okay, I'm from another world? So, I'm from another world to you. From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, Lee. There lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Uh... Hope you all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit. An independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes, terms there will be, but not with Delamain. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. Uh... I've re-established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Yeah. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. Okay, I guess. Now, uh, I want to see... Where's the paralysis? Uh, I think that is here somewhere, right? Wasn't it somewhere? That's where we meet River. That is where it is. Well, that is actually not too far away, um, all things considered. Could check out this one. I think this is fairly new as well then make our way over there. So I think that's the plan. Oh, oh, oh. If we can get out of here alive. Okay, we're back on the road. Back to Night City. Oh. See, and Pan Am getting along finer than a frog's hair split three ways. Here's to hoping things work out for you all. Because if, if they don't, and it's your fault, we drag you to the nearest tree and hang you by. Okay. Yeah. I understand. There are risks involved in potentially dating Pan Am. this about hey got a client oh well actually Rogue. it's just Nancy's son who's looking to get back something that was stolen 
And okay. Yeah. That Nancy. The one who punched keys in Samurai. Oh, one more Ooh. thing. If you could recover this gong's wheels too, that'd be real nice. So, you in? If so, find the details attached. Okay. That's really our first uh, side job that we got from Rogue. There's this old saying, if it wasn't for fools, there would be no sages. The same is for true for fixers. The fool who needs your help is a man named Dan. Dan has a gambling problem. Lately, he managed to lose his car in a game of cards. To tell the truth, the ride's no great loss or anything. This guy's... This guy isn't short on cars. What was valuable, however, was the one-of-a-kind bootleg samurai recording stowed in the trunk. How did our fool come into position of it, you ask? Well, he's Nancy's son. The same Nancy who played keyboard for the band in the days when that snot-nosed boy used to call me Auntie. Call, uh, you'll get that album for me. Gut tells me they haven't pawned it off just yet. It's probably still stashed somewhere around the place, and if you can swing by it... Grab Dan's car too for a little bonus. I'll snap you the coordinates of the guy holding the goods and be aware he licks the boots of the 6th Street gang. So expect to deal with another fool. Okay. So let's see. Gisela Zavala. For real. Oh, there's another one. Be close by. Kind of hard to see with the light right now. Can I maybe get one closer? Uh, getting too old for this. Okay, that guy's leaving. Oh, there. there's a camera. Didn't see that camera. Didn't want to close that. Area. There is one, okay. Let's take control of the camera. Give me the chat. Oh. These three. Lots of cameras here, actually. Turn these off as good as we can. Lots of enemies here. Uh, that should help. That was pretty good. What now? Can't open this one. Thirteen. Hey, 
any way I can... This, my friends. Now, this is interesting. This is so cool. Risky. I'm gonna stop him. did identify the body. That makes things a little bit trickier for us. Look, no hard feelings. Come on out. Good. work no no Johnny's shoes bootleg shark I remember that car keys blew my vocal cords out so hard I couldn't speak for a week oh, hi wow man that must have been fun to watch. What, the kick? No, you're not speaking for a <laughs> Come on, don't drag this out. That's some really good stuff there. There's another one in here now. Oh, this is tricky. What? Trying to. Oh boy. How about we do it like that, buddy? Come on, don't drag this out. Oof. Okay. I will find you oh, there. Someone is coming there. Down my neck. 
Get another card. Get in. That's a That's a car. Smash that. Wow, look at this car. <laughs> Very high pitch car. It's done now. Hey. I've got your bootlegs. Yep. Huh? What bootlegs? What are you talking about? The samurai concerts? The one you hired me to find? Yeah, that one. Ooh, yeah. Totally. Why didn't you say so? Shit, man. Shimura. Get the wheels, too? Who did? Are you high? You scared right now. What? That not allowed? You know how hard it is when your parents famous? You don't. Nobody does. Maybe you're an Obu Arasaka. Okay. Don't get along with your mom? You don't get along with your mom. <laughs> you know, I don't even remember the last time I called her mom. Don't even call her best Isis or mother or Nancy. The incredible one and only best Isis. Shit. Let's park it's downstairs. downstairs. Keys are in the ignition. What? For real? That's fucking far out, Shum. I won't forget this. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. That went pretty well, I would say. Hey, Rogue. A gig well done, V. Our client's satisfied Thanks. not only to get his hands on that recording, but the wheels too. A satisfied client means a satisfied Saul. Person. Hell, you should be satisfied too. Contracts closed and payments on its way. Thanks. The Saul one. Wide open road, dirt, sand, mountain. It ain't much, but still one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life. Thank you. If you ever need anything, you know where to find us. Cool. Oh, there's a bonus. Waiting for you at the nearest drop point. Ooh. Yes, please. We got a bonus. Uh, collect rewards. 6,000. Nice. That's pretty Nova, I might say. Okay, now we're a little bit further to... Oh, we're right next to the Paralysis apartment. Well, that worked out well. Um, let's see. Ooh. These boots are pretty good. Johnny's boots. I don't know how Johnny feels about us wearing his boots. He has to deal with that. <laughs> okay. This one is new. Uses damage from negative status effects. Evasion. I haven't really dodged much. What does it look like? Ooh, it's very red. very red how does it look i mean i think we can rock that for a little bit but it's it's very red 
aggressively red. Okay, but we are right here around the corner of the apartment building, so let's waste no time and meet with the paralysis again. me hey, we're upstairs thanks elevation holding a funeral for scorpion and others I thought maybe you'd want to come along say goodbye fire rifle in the air okay where do I go Can I track that? Let me see if I can see these things on the map. I mean, it might be at the... All the Caldas camp, right? Yeah, I would assume so. Maybe that's something else at the Alder Caldas. Maybe... The Judy's place? No. Uh, I wonder... I hope by now the side quests are fixed. There was another uh, patch today, and it did have a lot of fixes for a lot of quests. So I hope that they may be fixed. We have to check that out when we get back to Watson again. It's good to see you again. Something Likewise. happened. Come on, Jeff will explain everything. Okay. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're talking about the um, cornerstone bother us of my platform. What exactly? I'm not doing a U-turn just because night court. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Ooh, he is in a great Look, mood. I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. Okay. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. Everything all right? I've been thinking. Hey, about that night at the farm and the morning when we parted ways. Don't get me wrong, the thing is, I'm almost always on the road. I move fast and so my problems can't catch up to me, and if I slow down, I'm afraid will hit me on the way go. But you and I make a pretty good team when it comes to... Eh. I, w I would... I wish I could see the full answer. We make a pretty good team. When it comes to dealing with those problems, honestly, with those problems... Oh, honestly, I can't wait to deal with more. With you. Oh! That is very forward. I... See, that is why I wanted to see the full message. You're not just saying that, are you? Because I've heard my fair share of reinsurance. Well, look where they got me. Maybe next time we'll have something to drink that isn't a bioweapon. Maybe a little privacy too? Who knows? I didn't want to be that forward. I'm not quite sure if we're feeling it with Pan Am. I really like her. Um, I could see there's something developing, but... We've had a break-in. Not quite sure yet. Not the usual kind, though. Okay, a So break unusual how. A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. Hmm. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me? Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. 
I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Okay. Have you notified the cops yet? Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. All right. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Um. So what does SSI have to say? Security look into this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. Okay. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Oh, that's smart. Anything missing from the apartment? Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Uh, can you describe the intruder? What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Hmm. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Didn't even hear the shot? When did you come to? Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. Definitely something what weird that? going on. Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. This, um, security outfit. SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? I mean, no clue yet, honestly, but could be. No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Could be the same people who were behind Mayor Ryan's murder. Oh. Or Weldon Holt, Jeff's opponent in the race. The polls have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else I should know? Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Nope, that about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Uh, I'll need to have a look around. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Okay. Wow, that is definitely Come on. interesting. Let me show you around. I'm a little bit surprised that Elizabeth was able to sleep through sh uh, shots being fired. Huh? Right behind you. Go ahead. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I love these investigation I moments. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Nightcore. Let's take a picture. I have a beautiful view here. Arisaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's Fair office, enough. control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. V. 
Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. <laughs> Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Hi. Adam, what's going on? Ooh. I'd rather be in the company of that stubborn ass, you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, I think he's loosened up a bit. He's starting to realize he doesn't have to be the only voice around the campfire. It'll do us some good. You were right, V. It's good being back with your people. In Night City, I felt like the loneliest person in the world. That make me jealous, huh? You're not wrong about Night City. Uh, I'm happy for it. Well, it hasn't really hit me yet. I'm still giving myself a trial period. You can't expect everything right from the start, but I feel like things are taking a turn for the better. Not like you don't know where to find us. You helped us in our time of need. You'll always be welcome here. Anyways, I have to go before they get drunk off their asses or start another race. Take care of me. That's great to hear. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Well, let me make that call. No audio on this one. I wanna look at it though. New campaign at Leah Patel. You know what, Leah? I hate this commercial. I really do. A gun shooting a stack of legislation? It doesn't get cruder than this. What happened to running a campaign based on dignity? On giving my voters the respect they deserve? Jeff, with all due respect to you and your voters, these commercials are wedged between Watson, Whore, and Guns and Horses. The commercial need to communicate with voters in a language they understand. Mercenary. Wallace, Chief of Security. Mr. Perales, your wife has informed my employees that you intend to hire a mercenary in regard to the dubious circumstances surrounding Mayor Ryan's untimely death. I understand your concern, but I can assure you it is best to leave the matter up to the police. Should you have reservations as to the police's integrity, then please consider allowing my people to look into it. On behalf of my team, I can assure you, I can, I can assure total and complete discretion. There you can, buddy. <laughs> Eric Boucher. Boucher? Or Boucher? Hey Jefferson, I'll need you to toss a glance at some of the key aspects of the program, in particular my suggestion concerning their anti-corporate stance. I feel like we haven't been on the same page about certain things recently. Eric, your technical desk can sometimes be seriously annoying. As your chief advisor, I feel obliged to tell you this, uh, Jeff. I know how important the public's perception of you is, but if you continue to antagonize the corpse, you will be depriving this campaign of sources of potential funding and leaving us vulnerable to attacks by much more powerful actors. Don't make matters worse, Jeff, please. It's a question of sincerity, Eric, of staying true to one's ideals, not about pandering to the public. Besides, do you think I'm some kind of amateur? I know where the limits lie, and the corpse know it too. I know how the game is played. Set your mind at ease. Good night. Fair enough. It's just that lately you've been acting a little bit unpredictable. Don't get me wrong. I know it's a position that's taking us a long way. I'm just worried you'll cross the line at some point. Anyway, remember to get a good night's sleep. You need a clear head. What happened? Jeff, could you explain to me why Lear's still here? I thought we let her go. Did something change? I don't know. What are you talking about? Well, she's just here like nothing happened. She sent me a new ad today that apparently you removed. Am I going crazy or something? Alright, what the hell are you on about? Who told you to fire her? Because it most definitely wasn't me. If you, oh, if you've got something against her, then speak up. As far as I'm concerned, Leah stays. Not like she was going anywhere to begin with. Pull, pull it together. 
Oh, so he may... Is he maybe slipping into psyop psychosis or something like that? Interesting. Very, very interesting. What we'll take out? Hmm. And you're after dusk. What is this? Different one. That's campaign. Honey, I really appreciate how much you want to help during your academic break, but I think it's best if you stay where you are for now. Everything here is under control. You should spend this time focusing on yourself. Take advantage of everything your has to offer. Love, Mom. That is uh, Chochi Perales, the, the daughter, I think. I get it. This is about me becoming a target if I get involved in the campaign. I heard Ryan died of a heart attack. I'm not a gong. I know that Night City mayors have a habit of leaving their jobs in a coffin. It's fine. Don't worry. Just watch out for yourself, alright? I do what security tells you. Out with a... Oh, that is where uh, Elizabeth contacted Judy. Dear Miss Alv Alvarez, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. There is a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping that you'll return the favor Jeff once did for the mocks. Can we count on you? I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what this is about? It's about a certain brain dance. I'll, uh, I'll be honest, the matter is of highly de delicate nature and, dis and discretion as much as professional analysis is paramount for us. Time is of the essence, so I'm hoping for a prompt reply. Just without saying that you'll be well compensated for your trouble. Believe me, uh, I would if I could, but my hands are really tight at the moment. I know someone you, you can call, though. He's a marked known quantity at the afterlife, does dream tier work. They call him V. I'm sure he'll be willing to help. That is how we got into this. That's from Eric. Hey Liz, sorry to bother you, but did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Mia Patel? One day we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day, when I bring it up, she, he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. To be honest, this whole situation baffles me a bit. Don't worry about it. Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is, what you agreed on just slipped his mind. Plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In, my, in any case, sir, certain circumstances have changed in favor of Leah remain where she is. Please excuse Jeff and let's all just put this behind us. Understood. Interesting. There's definitely something going on with his mind. Not sure if maybe someone is kind of uh, influencing him in that way or if it is like maybe side of psychosis. Interesting backdrop. This is where we sleep. I wanted blue roses so we ordered a whole truckload. Okay. <laughs> Blue roses. What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. But this is so strange. There's something seriously strange going on. Oh. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed Maybe out. both their memories seem out of the impacted. Order, the bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all. As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Hmm. There's something. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Hmm. You didn't hear the shot at all. That is so bizarre. Power. I mean, this is pretty. This is a pretty dope bathtub. Uh, 
Okay. Get this up. Stay on this level for now. Little doors. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Okay. Probably. But who scrubbed it clean? Was it then security? Were they then lied? TV broken? What? Broken. That's a it TV. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it though. Hey, Johnny. What do you think? More chemical residue. What this? Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. What? Scan is showing something different. Yeah. Wait. You mean here? Right here. It's closed. Previous owners left over, maybe? No. Open it. Somehow, please. Not strong enough. Maybe it's worth checking their office downstairs. Okay. Search the security. Okay. Interesting. You have a hidden. And she didn't know about it. It's so strange. It's like someone is messing with their memory somehow. Right? I have to look outside as well. Is there. We want to go up to. No, it, it shows me down, but. You're welcome to go up to the roof if you want. I'll wait here. Sure yeah, thing. Please, please do that. I want to look around thoroughly. I really enjoy these uh, investigation moments. You guys know that I love a good mystery and some detective games and this really plays into that there's definitely something very very bizarre going on here just don't know quite what it is I'm gonna ask okay. odd Text practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Ah. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got there a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is all this for, though? Someone Fuck is if I know, them. but my yeah. gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Yep. I agree. The cables lead here. Another way inside. Sharp eye, Johnny. Making a good team. Okay. Probably all in that hidden room there, right? Let's see if we can get to the security room. And security must be in on it because we saw the blood stains and someone wiped them away. And if we can see them, like a high the level security uh, agency, they, they would know that as well, right? So, what's the security room here? That's the security room. Whoa. 
Sorry. Uh -huh. This was my den before the campaign. A place oh, to hi. focus, relax. Doesn't look it anymore. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first, but it won't be the last. Hmm. Is that smart to do that, or do we get in trouble? I don't know. I'll take it though. Okay, let's see. To all teams who are coming up to our scheduled maintenance work, you know the drill. Only one necessary agent will remain on this on site. In the meantime, the security system will be switched off and scrubbed clean. Mercenary on site. To all teams, despite making my reservations known, Target Alpha has decided to contact a mercenary to look into a political matter, though. Alpha's worries might be justified, and the outsider on the side raises serious concerns. If you encounter the mercenary in question, do not talk to them unless otherwise instructed. Regardless, carry on with your duties in accordance with standard procedure. Or delete it. Open the door. So I think we open it, right? Messages. Welcome on board. Welcome to the team and congratulations on your newest assignment. You have no doubt already been informed about the work we do here, but I'd like to take a moment to remind you how vital our responsibilities are. Our priority is to protect our main targets. Due to their VIP status, they are to be considered in constant danger, not only the most obvious kinds, but also with regards to privacy and emotional stability. You are all required to immediately report any behavioral anomalies from the VIPs on site, uh, on and off site. Do not wait for your partner to do it. I think we all prefer slightly more paperwork over a full class six uh, anomaly. Your security classification is code orange, which grants you access to all areas, including excluding uh, Sector Zero. Sector Zero is exclusively restricted to field agents tier blue and black. If you run into blue or black agents during the night, do not engage with them whatsoever unless you receive a direct order from me or from said field agent. Oh, so maybe the guy that he saw was a field agent. We have an urgent situation on the main side. There was a behavioral anomaly during maintenance work, and a blue agent was injured by target Alpha. Alpha is secure, but blue 66M is in critical condition. I'm requesting emergency access to Sector Zero in order to retrieve medical supplies. Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Yeah. I cannot grant remote access to Sector Zero, but the access code to the main room is 6709. You remotely control access to Sector Zero from this terminal. I've informed management of the situation in Black... And the Black Echelon rescue team is already on its way. So 6709. 6709. Uh huh. Yeah, I opened it from the console. Whoa!
That's from Transmere. Jesus Hardware. Christ. What's it for? I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Connected to the yeah. wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. They violated our... Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Typical behavior of the targets exceed uh, acceptable variation range. Uh, Alpha has started using stimulants, most likely due to heightened stress induced by recent events. I hereby authorize amplification of neurodampening. Despite objection from the chief of security Wallace target, uh, Alpha has contracted the service of a local mercenary. This qualifies as an extreme deviation from acceptable behavioral norms and calls Alpha's general stability into question. I hereby request emergency maintenance. Request to proceed with Operation Condon. Target Alpha has been approved. A joint maneuver will be conducted with Team Orange. Mercenary contracted by Alpha has appeared on site. Field agents from Tier Orange have successfully avoided contact. Orange reports that the mercenary does not pose any threat to the operation. An extreme behavioral deviation occurred while conducting planned maintenance procedures. Field agent Blue was uh, severely injured by target Alpha and evacuated by teams Orange and Black. Operation suspension protocols has been initiated and only team Orange is to remain on site. Team Black will continue observation until norm normal operation can be resumed, which will not occur before the audit and report summary of team Blue. Wow. Oh, we read that one. Okay. We're patched up here. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Could be. Could be. The tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. About to pay them a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. Okay. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. That leads out. <sighs> the cables. Yeah, it goes up here. What? What? Okay. The cables thing seems a little unnecessary now. So let's leave the apartment.
wonder what this is all about. If it's really about spying on the campaign or if there's more behind it. yourself time to grieve judy experience all its stages feel them let them play out shock anger depression i'd say i'm on anger i'm gonna stay here for a while too i can work with anger okay what came to so you what did you come up with the mox dive lizzie's bar used to be a joy house tiger claws killed one girl too many so people took matters into their own hands belongs to us now mm-hmm Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Oh, I see. I think this bar was exactly smooth. I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. How about we I didn't take say the they would. Speed, that van but Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Yeah, you've uh, thought this through? I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy carefully I haven't thought it through at all all I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tans and toned asses doing nothing Fair enough got the mocks to agree to take over clouds no I'm trying to get you I know someone at clouds will take our side will you help sure fine got me on board oh yes okay so what's the plan First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Okay. Who is she? Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Seems well connected. Evelyn, Maiko, you seem to know your way around clouds. He used to work there. Helped him out with their behavioral chip. Oh. Him. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. Okay, sure she's gonna uh, gonna want to help us. Sure, Michael's gonna want to join forces. If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Fair enough. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. Do you know Michael well? How well do you know this Michael? Too well. When do you want to meet? When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. All right. That that sounds like a plan. But I think uh, before we chase the van, we will take a uh, take a break, see where that leads us, and then um, we probably will take care of the clouds business fairly soon as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video with friends, family, and the people on the internet. That all helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future. If you want to go above and beyond in your support, you can check out the Patreon link down below. And I will be back with more Cyberpunk 2077 very soon. Until then, have a great time.